Hey guys, me like big boom here coming at you guys with a video that I don't think I was originally going to make but uh, this information or at least the information that has come to us in the past 24 hours has been getting increasingly more interesting and I just simply want to talk about it because I don't know what the heck's going on and I need some discussion. If you guys have not really been involved strongly in following Nelson on his Twitter, which I'd recommend doing, he posts uh, all sorts of teasers like basically every Wednesday or Thursday. It's really interesting. But anyway, uh, he posted two teasers today on Wednesday, which is a little unusual. And then also earlier this morning, somebody noticed that there was an achievement added to Unturned called Soul Crystal. You can see it if you go to the achievement screen of Unturned. And if you go into view global achievement stats, you will see Soul Crystal. It doesn't have a description, though it probably will have one soon, and it has this weird symbol as its icon, and it makes no sense at all, and nobody, nobody knows what it is. There were a few little suggestions on Reddit. Some people were saying it's like an achievement that you get when you fully clear a horde beacon, or perhaps when you get a ton of player kills, or perhaps a reputation system where Soul Duster is the most insane part of the reputation. You guys might remember that from Hunter 2.0. Killing players made you insane and gave you a skull symbol, and killing insane people gave you a nice little halo. Um, though, if it were to be a rep system, it would make sense for there to be an achievement of some sort of white knight thing. I mean, wouldn't that make sense? It seems kind of weird that there's an achievement that you get only for killing people if that were to be a reputation system. I don't know what this is at all, uh, to be honest. Uh, so uh, you guys need to comment your guys' thoughts down below. That's really all the information we have regarding this achievement. Now, later on, Nelson posted this tweet uh, right here. He says, um, can someone give me directions back to PI, please? With a panicked face here. Uh, the picture is of what appears to be inside some sort of dark room with unique looking doors and s giant blood streaks along the ground and on the uh, on the door there. It's a little bit difficult to see, especially if you are on mobile, so I'll brighten it up for you a little bit. Once again, very, very cryptic stuff that's been going on here today. Now, I can guarantee that that Soul Duster achievement is some way affiliated to this image. Why would he tweet this out? It's obviously something new, and the fact that we have this achievement that's showing up today and I don't know, Soul Duster, the logo, it looks spooky, this looks spooky, it's got, it's got to be affiliated in some way, um, but what is this? Some people have gone straight ahead to say perhaps this is the Horde mode coming back. For those of you that don't know, there was a Horde mode that was kind of being worked on by Nelson for a few months or so, basically just Call of Duty Zombies. It's a wave-based zombie mode for the game that was kind of dropped off and then eventually arena mode was made. So people are thinking that this is a map for that horde mode. That is definitely a possibility, probably the most likely thus far. Perhaps this is just a new location on the Russia map. Perhaps this is a new arena map. Um, but these are all things that we've gotten before. I mean, Nelson at, has added like arena maps before without teasing them. And he's being really cryptic here. So... It's got to be something big, to be honest, but once again, we have no idea. So comment down below your guys' thoughts regarding this tweet right here. Now, about 30 minutes later, he tweets another teaser, this time out in PI in the daytime, so it's not as spooky scary, so we don't have to deal with any of that. Uh, and this is another really confusing thing, and it has confused a lot of people, and it confused me at first. A lot of people jumped straight to conclusions saying that this is adding the ability to place buildables in the editor. But if you looked at it for more than five seconds, you would notice that there's a player right there. That's Nelson right there in game. So this is some sort of editor that's in game. Like I'm thinking what this is, but I'm going to get into why I think it's a little weird, but I'm thinking that this is a way for you to build without having to place things down like from your character. So you would go into this like sky view building mode where you can transform things freeform and be able to place and create a makeshift structure without having to deal with the weird rotations that you get when you're trying to like hold right mouse button and rotate everything. 
but immediately after realizing that, I'm thinking to myself, well, this can be easily abused, or at least done weirdly. I mean, you could, you could have floating objects and crap like that, and what if you access this mode and you use it to look inside somebody's base? Now, there are two different things that can combat that. One of these was one that I thought immediately, and the other one I just realized as I was doing this commentary and I had to re-record this, I'm like, oh my god, this is this works. Alright, so first one, you can only access this mode if you're in a claim flag area. So you put down a claim flag and then you be given access to this fancy mode where you can place down the rest of the aspects of your base uh, in this mode so that you can see it from different angles. That would make sense as well, though with that in mind, you'd also be able to put down a claim flag next to somebody else's base and then access the camera mode and be able to look inside them in that regard. So that doesn't make much sense, but what does is what if this is a building mode for when you are in safe zones? As you guys know, you can't build in safe zones. You can't equip any buildables in them, which is really, really silly because in the safe zones are designed to be places where you can meet up, you can build stuff, you can trade. That's why safe zones were added. Now, I, I get that this is on PEI and you can see that there's a military base in the background and this is not where a safe zone is but perhaps a safe zone is being added to all of the vanilla maps, or maybe this is just a placeholder just for this tweet, but it would make sense. What if this is a fancy mode that you get access to when you are building a safe zone? You'd be able to move around and create some sort of fancy village. You'd also be able to create walls, just like what Nelson appears to be doing right now with those weird little structure things, to create a wall around your safe zone. It makes sense, at least in my opinion. So I'm thinking this upcoming update puts more of a focus on safe zones, creating non-KOS gameplay by promoting trading within these safe zones, and also building in safe zones with this new mode. Those are my thoughts. But once again, this is just a tweet. This could be anything, it could just be some sort of fancy mode. You guys need to comment your guys' thoughts down below. Also, I'm not gonna forget this, but you'll notice that Nelson is standing in front of a new ramp. I'm super hyped, all right? About five days ago, maybe four, I don't remember correctly, I posted on the subreddit a picture that I photoshopped of what I thought would be super, super cool straight staircases that didn't have the weird thing that ramps have, that weird little square perimeter around the top, and also uh, had walls along the side. This is the picture that I photoshopped, and apparently Nelson thought it was super cool. He obviously saw the post, he saw how well it was upvoted, a lot of people supported it, and boom, it's right here. It's right there. Look, it's got the railings, it's got the straight staircase it doesn't have the the weird thing that ramps have it's super cool looking so I, i'm pretty hyped for that as well that's just a completely unrelated thing to this weird feature that's being showcased here so super hype those are the things that we can see so far in the upcoming update lots and lots of cryptic stuff now i'm pretty confident on the safe zone idea I don't really see any other alternate ideas of what this could be, so if you guys have any, comment them down below. I'm still open to discussion in that regard. I am, though, completely lost on this picture right here, this weird thing that appears to be in some sort of insane asylum with blood all over the place, and then that soul duster achievement. I have no idea. Comment your guys' thoughts down below. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And do all magic brush because we like big boom. It's out.